Hello, hello guys. Welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So for those new in my YouTube channel, so welcome. And for those who already here uh, as a subscriber, so thank you for always supporting. And today, guys, I will share with you guys related all of my experiences really uh, in terms of the inspections. So I prepared two files, which is the PDA files related inspection of the switchgear that is including from the transformers, cable, switchgear, and then also kinds of cables, how you will do inspections, what is the requirements, everything is, uh, it's here. So it's a matter of a uh, uh, simple amount that is uh, worth one, 150 pesos in the Philippine peso, that is 150 for the two PDF files for the inspections, your guide, how you will improve, improve your inspections and become knowledgeable in this kind of inspection for the switchgear and the cables, power controls and data. So I will show you uh, the PDF file. So, but anyway, if you are here, if you are in the abroad, so you can share an email to me. And then for those in the Philippines, you can send directly to my uh, Gcash. Gcash, okay? So you can send a Gcash and then notify and then share your email address. And then if you are in the in abroad, you can send me an email then I will send you the PDF files, two PDF files, electrical uh, cables and switchgear. So I will show you guys here, this is what I prepared. <clears throat> so this is what I prepared, training switchgear inspection. So as you can see here, we have a general objectives, product prescription, applicable codes and standards, typical ITP and requirements, inspector task, and some of the samples. I will uh, go through down. So this is, I created. So based on the training guys, huh? so I pay this, it's more uh, 200, uh, 300 to 400 dollars. So, because the training is depends of the of the uh, uh, hours, and also we're giving you uh, documents. So, in order to do that, I created in order that I can share this to those people, uh, persons interested to receive this book as a PDF. Okay. Just a small amount, guys. Product description, panel, switching switch gear, classification, training switch gear. So this one, type, construction, interrupting. So that is our as per IEC degrees. Hmm. You can see here, train, uh, based on the application, it's B panel, bus bar. So how you check during the inspections, during the testing, what is the requirements? You can see here, current transformer, uh, voltage transformer, standard of the uh, switch gear, the breaker, it's vacuum circuit breaker, air circuit breaker, that is our SF6. Mm. So MCCB, MCB, contactor. This is what uh, in my previous uh, uh, job, pre previous work, we have a 11 KB. We were using contactor, this kind of contactor that is a SF6. Okay, relay. And then thermal overload, numeric relay. So also this is the relay that we are installing when we do modifications of our switch gear. So this kinds of information that 
when you uh, when you reading this and then you when you do the actual uh, inspections and also attending the commissioning modifications etc you can understand exactly by this book and then by the actual also as well so just like uh, from the engineering side you are attending theory and then you are do applications that is a good concept that is a good idea if you do if you have those documents so this is our typical itp the Q, uh, qap requirements for the routine testing type testing okay operations bill of materials this is during the factor acceptance testing this is what you need okay so this is our example of uh, typical itp and then what is kind of what are the documents that you that you required and then that is the inspect, inspector task what what is the require what is the iec uh, requirement what kind of testing routine test based on the iec standard 662271 that's so because you need as an inspector as a testing engineer you need to understand as well all of this information so dielectric test, this is the instrument that you are looking forward and kind of testing. If you are in the activities, this uh, you can see, oh, this is good. I can understand clearly. And then if the contractor giving you, this is our test requirements here, and then you have a guide. Oh, no, no, this is wrong. As per IEC, this is the requirements that you need. Okay, I will not accept this. You follow these requirements. And then you are also repairing the same in your project standard. Of course, where the project, whatever company that you are working right now, we are all the same standard, international IEC 62271, 62272. Okay, so measurement, this is kind of measurement that you need and kind of testing, visual checking. So this is, uh, See, this is how your inspector task and identify the panel for segregation, specification. This is how the information, guys, how many pages is this? And also, I, this kind of, I already attached also, attached also the, like a test. So, testing, what is the answer? Some of the information, how many pages? This is uh, 36 pages, guys. Okay, as you can see. And then we can see the other 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 pile. Where is that? This one. So we have electrical cables. So this is another PDA piles that I have. So these two piles that I, I, I created, this is worth only 15 dirhams and 150 pesos in Philippine peso. Okay, so for electrical cables, this is what, what, it, what the PDF content, different types of cables, construction terminology, standard, electrical formulas, up to down the identification of conductor. So inspection and test plan. So you can understand exactly when you are reading this or when you are applying your inspections as well. So what is the types of cables? We have power instrument cables and we have also data cables. What is the use of the data cables? What is the use of instrument cables? So different types of cables, you can see here. So wire standard, insulations, and then we have some inputs also, uh, like actual selection of directions of wiring. So during the site inspections that you found any mistakes of the cables activities as an inspector, you can verify easily and you can understand also what kind of crimping lag, what kind of plugs that they are using in the cables. And then for the terminations, as you understand, even technicians, they know exactly 
what is the color. If you are bringing the lag yellow, you can understand what is the yellow that is 4 mm squared. If you are bringing the lag blue, that is 2.5 mm. And red, that is 1.5 mm cable. So this is kind of information that you that you required during the inspections and then cable installations like this one, IP rating, see ingress protection. So what kind of, this is a barrier gland, how you inspect the barrier gland, what is the requires that you need to understand, what is the requirements that you need to check being an inspector, okay? When you do the testing, everything is there and then the standard is there as well. So, and then the calculations, we have Ohm's law calculation as well. And then the size, if you are the engineering, if you're preparing the engineering, also this is your views. Uh, everything is here as related uh, electrical power and control cables, data. So this is 45 pages, okay. And how you inspected, say identify the color conductor. It's very minimum amount. It's very affordable. That is worth 150 pesos and 50, 15 dirhams, one five dirhams. If, uh, you are, if you are interested in this PDF files for two PDF files, it's uh, send an email to me. And then if you are in the Philippines, send the GCAS, okay? And then it will be notified to my to my number and then who are you? and then send that email address then i will forward to you the files okay it's very simple so i think that's it guys uh, so this is the the pdf that i created and looking forward if you are ready to purchase and send me an email and notify me so that you can receive the two files Okay, and bye-bye. Have a nice day.